I just discovered how you can raise and lower the suspension of your L494 Range Rover Sport using your key fob. All right, so if you are brand new and this is your first time here, my name's Emeka. This is my 2019 Range Rover, and I do what I can do to drive this beast hard day in and day out. And um, I'm always learning new tips and tricks. I've had it since May of 2019, 64 odd thousand kilometers on it. It's been with me from Mexico to Canada, to, to, to Canada to Mexico. We've done a few trips. And the other day I just discovered that I can use my key fob to raise and lower the suspension. So I wanna show you how to do that right now. So first things we have to do, we have to go inside the truck. So you gotta go inside. And the first thing we have to do, we gotta turn our hazards on. Once your hazards are on, it's a, it's a safety mechanism that Land Rover's built into these. You have to have your hazards on. You, this works with the car running or the car not running. Um, as I was getting ready for this video, I drained, I drained all the airbags, so I had to start the vehicle up in order for uh, the pumps and everything to start working. So I'll be doing it with the car running. It does work a lot faster, obviously, uh, with the engine running. But what you wanna do is you wanna take your key fob, okay? You wanna hold your lock and headlight button, okay? I'm gonna come over here and you're gonna take a look at this. So lock and unlock and just show them, show them there's nobody inside the car just so they know there's no magic here, okay? <laughs> All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hold it, a couple seconds, and oh, look, she's going up. Right, there you go, okay. And so what it'll do is it'll go to, let me see. Okay, so bring them over here. Maybe show them inside. Right now it's on regular height mode. Uh, show them go down a little bit. Yeah, so regular height mode, you guys can see that right there. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold the headlight and unlock button now. And it's gonna take it up to off-road height. Okay. Now, important to note, the front end does not move uh, um, as much as the rear end is gonna move in this case. The reason being is this was actually designed um, to make uh, dealing with the tow, uh, the, the, the uh, the, what, what do you call the tow package? The tow hitch, clearly I don't have one, but that's what this was designed for. Hence why you have to have your hazards flashing as a safety precaution that Land Rover built into it. Now, how do we lower it? To lower it, we're just gonna press and hold the lock and headlight button and it's gonna drop it down again. Now, I started this off in axis height. Um, I've only been able to really bring it back down to its regular, um, the regular suspension height. Um, I haven't been able to see it drop down to axis height. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing something on this or if there's something else that I, I could have been doing. But uh, that's a cool little, little trick there. Um, is it useful if you're not towing anything? I don't know, but it's cool. And that's what I'm about, all about. 60,000 kilometers, a year and a half with this thing, and I'm still learning how to play around with all of the overly complicated computer systems on here. I wouldn't have it any other way though, guys. So if you, um, if this is your first time, please smash that subscribe button. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. 100,000 is coming up. And um, let's connect. Instagram, here on the channel, wherever you want. Till next time, everybody. My name's Emeka. Drive hard.